This week our solar panels came in, so let's get them installed. We want to get everything on the roof installed before we put up insulation and ceiling boards. That way if we create any leaks we can catch them and get them fixed before the ceiling gets wet. We also wanted to make sure that the bolts through the roof metal are supported and can distribute the force and any vibrations across a large area. So we used blocks of wood to back them up. I thought about using angle iron and running it all the way from one roof channel to the next, but I decided it was probably overkill. I've seen lots of people that just do flat washers and it seems to work fine. We used carriage bolts through these blocks of wood and the roof metal. This way we'll be able to remove and reinstall the panels in the future without messing with the ceiling in the bus. We also made mounts for three more panels so that the system can grow as needed. We wanted to keep the panel installation as neat and clean as possible and have the panels follow the contour of the bus roof. We lose a little bit of efficiency by having the panels point in slightly different angles, but it's worth it to us to keep them low profile as possible. I designed about 20 different mounting systems in my mind, but decided that simple is probably best. So we used the Z brackets that New Power sent with the panels. The Z brackets attach directly to the carriage bolts and keep the panels tight to the roof. I am a little bit afraid of ladders and heights, so please excuse the wobbly knees while I'm on top of the bus. We connected all three panels in parallel with a branch connector and then ran the wires through the roof with a cable entry gland box. One word of advice that I have is to unroll the wires and make sure that they aren't tangled up before you hook one end up solid on the roof. We'll fast forward through me untangling the wire here. These panels will have to be removed later when we paint the roof, so I'll add Loctite thread locker when they go back up for the final time. I'll also be sure to install a grommet where the cables go through the roof to protect them from the sharp metal. Thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments if you saw me do anything horribly wrong. Thanks again.